Edinburgh has long been associated with the life sciences, from Charles Darwin, who studied medicine at the university, to modern day figures like Sir Ian Wilmot, who led the team responsible for cloning Dolly the sheep. Nukana is part of a thriving biotechnology scene in the city and is drawing on local and international talent to transform chemotherapies and pioneer a new era in cancer treatment. Duncan Golistani reports. At an Oxford University hospital, doctors are studying new medicines that aim to dramatically improve the treatment of patients with cancer. They've been developed by Nucana, an innovative biotech company headquartered 350 miles away in Edinburgh, who are working with cancer researchers from around the world. Nucana has transformed some of the most widely used cancer drugs to overcome cancer cell resistance mechanisms and reduce their side effects. Chemotherapy remains the backbone of treatment for patients with cancer, but it doesn't work in a high proportion of patients and it can also be quite toxic. So Nucana is aiming to change that paradigm and develop more effective and safer medicines. There are really three key drawbacks that limit the effectiveness of chemotherapy. They're often broken down before they even get near a cancer cell. Once they're near that cell, they have to be transported inside. And then once they're inside the cancer cell, they then have to be activated. So proteids have been specifically designed to overcome these limitations of breakdown, transport and activation. Cancer as a disease touches all of us. As a problem, it will only grow. In 2018, there were 18 million new cases around the world. By 2040, that will grow to 30 million. So the need for better medicines has never been greater. Professor Sarah Blackton is at the forefront of the hunt for new cancer medicines. Her team has run clinical trials for three of Nucana's new medicines called protides and treated over 150 patients so far. So we're not seeing the normal chemotherapy type toxicities that you expect, like hair loss. We don't see that at all. Um, but what we are seeing is we're able to deliver the drug at much higher concentrations actually within the cancer itself. And that for us is really intriguing. Cheryl Walsh had run out of treatment options after the discovery of metastatic melanoma, an aggressive form of skin cancer, in December 2016. Treatment with one of Nucana's protides in a clinical trial has not only extended her life, but it has also improved her quality of life. She no longer has to have fluid drained from her lungs every week and feels much stronger. It's um, made a lot of difference. It's, um, I, before I was started taking this, I um, couldn't walk far at all. Um, losing breath, just totally really. And now, I I'm obviously still can't walk lots, but I'm a lot better than I was. It gives us hope as well as results. Uh, and that is one of the things that keeps us going. I think it's very exciting. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't. I think it really is because it's very specifically addressing problems that we know really matter in real life and saying, how do we solve these problems using whatever technologies, and no matter how modern that technology is, saying if we need that technology, we're going to bring it on board to address the problem. Professor Harrison is joined by hundreds of other scientists and doctors working with Nucana to further understand the unique properties of proteids. Nucana floated on the Nasdaq Stock Exchange in September 2017 and continues to grow rapidly. Nucana's future is extremely bright. We have three drugs in clinical development right now, each one looking very promising with the ability to really change the outcome, the survival outcome for patients as well as make their lives more comfortable.